yesterday we went into lockdown in the afternoon so it's our first full day of lockdown it's only gonna be like a week hopefully well it's a week at least so it could be longer who knows um but because we're in lockdown i won't have work for a week and we'll just be stuck at home the whole time so i figured it'd be a great time to redecorate my room because i've wanted to do that for a while because it's been boring well it's not boring it's like still good but like i've been bored with life and i figured changing my general surrounding space is a good way to fix that so i got some new studio ghibli prints in here just of like different scenes from the movies because like they release a bunch of images and i've also been doing paintings that i can put up there and i got a new k-pop album i got the new t like txt's last album got kakimu's posters so i'm gonna be able to put all that up i just thought it'd be cute to do an aesthetic room makeover video because i like watching them and what there's never been a better time to do it um also you may notice my hair is a different color basically i like a few months ago i bleached parts of my hair like i had this front bit and then a bit here obviously i've got more here now but i wanted to get rid of the, the front bit um so i bought a what i thought was a brown dye it was called darkest brown and that's what i thought my hair color would be because it's like it is a dark brown that often gets mistaken for black but it's still brown so i got it and then i used it and it was just black so that's really epic really cool um my dad likes to point it out every time he sees me but you know i made this joke on tiktok so i'm gonna do it again it's just in time for txt's fighter escape um <laughs> I know I love you emo core remix, thinking of them. So yeah, first I have to clean because there is so much stuff on the floor, just so much because I'm bad at keeping track of my clothes throughout the week, like I can't just put things away as I go, I just toss them and then I clean. Let's get to it. <laughs>
everything off my walls, including the blue tack, and then there was some mold, so I just sprayed it with cloves and left it there for a bit. And now I'm gonna figure out what I want on there. I'm like gonna make piles of things that I'm like retiring from the wall and the new things I'm gonna add. I'll show what I'm adding when I figure, like I'll show the piles when I have figured that everything out. Um, and now if you're wondering, I'm listening to eyes wide open by Part of the studio Gilby wall is like the main, the main bit of it. It's just because like a while ago, Studio Ghibli released a bunch of like high quality images from all their movies, like those 50 images from each movie. Um, and I already had a few, but I got some more for redecorating here. So I've got like Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service. Those two are from the Wind When the Wind Rises, and those two are from Up on Poppy Hill. And I've got Whisper of the Heart and Ponyo. So yeah, they just look really nice because they've all got like somewhat, like all the colour palettes like match, you know, like you got Ponyo's hair and dress matches with um, Sukashima's shirt and then the kimono and then like the greens and the blues all carry over, so yeah, it just, it just looks good. <laughs> then up here I've got my BTS and Twice poster, I've got another BTS poster there as well. Um, yeah, I got those two, I got all my posters and albums and stuff and we've got haiku record that I painted last year and then I painted these on my wall last quarantine because I was bored um like I did those back in like May and it was fun but like also if you're painting on your wall remember that in a year you may hate it 
<laughs> you can see I've covered stuff up. Then we've got this bit, which is like my art, but also some like prints from other places and just like photos and edits. This screen cap repaint from Whisper of the Heart. This painting of Rina Sawayama because I love her and I love her music so much. But this TXT painting, I didn't paint this just for this. But I'm proud of it and I want to show it. I actually painted it <laughs> for the MOA version of the Magic music video, but um, I didn't. Sub I submitted it the day after entries were due, but I didn't know. So it's fine, it's cool. And then yesterday I did this one of Snufkin and Moomin. Oh, and I also painted Hobie, and then these two glass paintings of Hinata and Kakeyama and Psyche K, and there's also a Polaroid of my cat, R.I.P. King, and this other painting that I just did on a Bunnings paint card. There's also this one of How that I painted and then the little ghosty my friends gave me on our last day of high school just because they did. <laughs> oh and I've got Jongyeon, I also painted Jongyeon. <laughs> this bit, everything else that I didn't paint, I didn't like the pop teen and paper ones, I just found like those as edits on Pinterest, they're of BTS, Red Velvet and then um, Yeonjin and Bongyu. The Marceline and Bubblegum one I got on Red Bubble years ago, I don't remember who the artist is, sorry. <laughs> Then the two, the tarot card and the hands, they're from Fifal on Instagram. And then the picture of Yeonjin and Taehyung, they're from albums. Over here, we've got more of the Ghibli ones um, of Totoro and Spirited Away. I just think they fit nicely here. Then we've got a picture of Bongyu from the Chaos Chapter Freeze album. Down the side, there's like some edits of Haikyuu and Hatsune Miku as like uh, magazine covers. I'm not sure if they're fan edits or official, sorry. And here we've got my CD player with Taste of Love in it. And then the three prints are from Lana J Art. I love her so much. She's such a big art inspiration. We've got some Sailor Moon manga covers, a red velvet edit, um, and just some like on the my shelf. It's my albums, a heart rainbow thing I got given as a present ages ago from one of my friends. Um, two pictures by my friends, a picture of me and my best friend and blackpink light stick. <laughs> Here we've got a BTS record I painted two and a half years ago I think. Um, then a painting inspired by Studio Ghibli like I made last quarantine. Haikyuu manga cover. Another print by Lana J. It's like so pretty. I love it so much. An Adventure Time record and some more paintings and twice. Oh and this. My, my my Taiwanese friend said it and I thought it was funny. Hi. Well, bye. Thanks for watching. Yeah, hope you had a good time. I did. I'm happy with the product, the finished product. It was nice. <laughs> good project for quarantine, but now I need to figure out a new project with probably knitting. But I also might start a new thing. Um, but it's fine. It's good. Projects, good. I tried doing the TikTok fake freckle makeup, but I didn't look at a reference for it, I just kind of guess from memory and I don't know how to contour properly and I also don't know how to do fake freckles um, so that's cool I used to have freckles, like I still do on like my arms and stuff just on my face when I hit puberty they all kind of just started looking like pimples so I just started covering them all up and I also go outside less so I don't get sun <laughs> on me to create them um, yeah Anyway, again, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go clean my bathroom. <laughs>